to One Kitchen, I'm Julia. So today it is the 1st of December, which means we are getting very close to Christmas Eve. And this month here is just the perfect time to make a lot of delicious Christmas cookies. This video here is also a collaboration with Tom from Old Man Cooking. He makes a lot of delicious stuff and today he is showing you over at his channel how to make some not make no cookies. They are just delicious, I promise you. So head on over to his channel and check them out when you have watched my video here. His link is down below in my description. Today I am going to show you how to make some Danish butter cookies. They are called Fint Grill, which is a delicious little cookie topped with some almonds and some sugar. They are just yummy, you have to give them a go and they are so so easy to make. So let's get started. So for my Finsbull cookies, I am going to use some all-purpose flour, some sugar, some butter, and the vanilla is optional. I just love vanilla in cookies, so that is why I am going to use vanilla from one vanilla pot. But you just leave that out if you don't have it or don't like it. So what I'm going to do first is to whisk my flour and my butter together. in my seasoned vanilla pot and I'm also just going to add in my sugar and then I'll just keep mixing until I have a nice and well combined dough. Then I'll add some plastic foil to my table and wrap my dough in and place in the fridge for at least two hours just to kind of rest a bit. So my finished dough is now done resting in the fridge and the dough is going to be a little bit hard to just work it in your fingers so it gets a little bit more easy to work with. And what I did was just to cut a piece of my dough and then I have just rolled it out on the table here just a little bit roughly. Um, and what I am going to do now, I'm just going to cut the edge off. And then just cut down here. And the edge of there. And my oven is already at 180 degrees C conventional oven. If you don't have convention, just have it at 200 degrees C regular oven. Just remember that you can only have one sheet in at a time then. But because I have convention on, I am going to bake two sheets at a time. But the first here are now ready and I have a baking sheet ready here with a parchment paper. And I'm just going to place them on here. And I'm just going to keep repeating this process here until I have used all of my fixed cookie dough. So I now have two sheets of cookies ready. And now we are just going to top them with some egg wash and some sugar and some almonds. And this recipe here gives around 40 to 50 finch pulp. So it really depends on how you place them, how big you are making them. I made the first ones a bit too big, so I just made some new ones and made them smaller. Um, so just remember to have it around the right size, about a pinky size or something like that. So what I'm going to use for the top is some chopped almonds that I've already chopped, of course. And then I have some large piece of sugar in here. In Denmark we call this pearl sugar. And when it is translated into English, it is just pearl sugar. Some countries actually call it that, and other countries call it nip sugar. So just find whatever you have. And then I also have an egg wash here, which is one egg together with about one tablespoon of milk. And what I'm going to do is just to brush my cookies with it and now I'm just going to sprinkle my almond and sugar over maybe put 
pushes it a little down as well to get it to stick a bit better. And now they are ready to be baked in the oven for about 7 to 8 minutes, just until they are nice and golden brown. Then I'm just going to let them cool on some parchment paper on my table. And when they are nice and cool, they are ready to be served. You can also keep them in a cookie jar, just for about 3 to 4 weeks or so, so they can pretty much last the whole Christmas. But you'll probably eat them within a few days or so, because they are just so delicious. So I really hope you enjoyed the recipe for my finished product. If you want to give them a go, just go down in my description and you can find all the ingredients down there. And don't forget to check out Tom and his cookies over at his channel. The link is down below in my description and I will also place it somewhere in here on the screen. So just remember to check him out and I hope you all are going to have a merry merry Christmas. And I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye!